Hey guys, Dr. Davin Lim, dermatologist. Uh, today I'll be talking about steroid induced, in other words, anabolic steroid induced acne. This is super common because we're seeing a lot of bodybuilders out there and a lot of guys going to the gym getting really jacked, but what they do is they take anabolic steroids. This whole video is not for me to decide and say that's wrong. I'm just the operator, I'm just the uh, analyst, and all we do is we treat acne based upon um, what we see. So anabolic steroids is super common. For whatever reason that you're taking anabolic steroids, you may have an outbreak of acne. So the reason why is because you have increased amount of androgens. Androgens are basically male hormones, and this basically stimulates your sebaceous gland or oil gland to produce more oil. And as a result, you can have papules, pustules, and cysts. Now, if you're a um, guy taking anabolic steroids or even a woman taking anabolic steroids, generally speaking, the acne is quite obvious. So you have chest acne, back acne, facial acne, neck acne. This kind of acne can be cystic and it can be very florid. In other words, it can affect many areas. It can be painful, um, but it just does not look good. So what can you do about it? Firstly, when you look at steroids, they're different types. You can have mainly anabolic or you can have mainly androgenic. Acknowledging that there is a crossover and you can have corticosteroids or steroids, anabolic steroids, which are both anabolic as well as androgenic. So if you're taking the androgenic ones, they're the ones that are called testosterone derivatives. So things like your testosterone um, undecanate, things like your sustenon, where there's many different esters of testosterone. So that form of anabolic steroid, more leaning towards the androgens, will increase the amount of oil production, and hence those ones are very common to get um, cystic acne. Now, the other side, you can have mainly anabolic steroids. So anabolic steroids are usually less potent when it comes to stimulating androgens compared to androgenic corticosteroids. Normally, anabolics are less potent compared to androgenic steroids when it comes to stimulation of the oil gland. With that, you're looking at things like, for example, decodurabilin and um, uh, stenozolol and all of those other derivatives. Now, when it comes to treatment, it's this. There is no easy way to treat. The best way to treat is basically to use Accutane. There is a little problem with Accutane, not that we can't do it, it just means you have more frequent monitoring. The reason being is that some steroids will increase your liver function test, and generally speaking, these are oral testosterone or methyl testosterone um, esters uh, that can jack up your testosterone level, but at the same time cause potentially an elevation of liver enzymes. So the problem is that when we use things like um, isotretinoin or Accutane, that can potentiate um, more liver problems because we're using another possibly hepatotoxic uh, medication. So what most dermatologists do is they would actually monitor your liver function more closely. So you might have a baseline level and also when we start, we may start at a much lower dose and keep monitoring you maybe every two to four weeks. Uh, or even earlier should you have signs of, um, I guess, not liver failure, but excess uh, enzymes. The other thing as well, most of us will be very mindful that we don't want to use other things, for example, anti-inflammatories, erythromycin is another example, because that could be hepatotoxic. So once you add up your testosterone derivatives, your isotretinoin, your erythromycin, it can play havoc on your liver. So we've got to be very careful with what we use. Sometimes we use topicals. Topicals usually don't work. So things, we're talking about things like salicylic acid uh, washes and things like benzyl peroxide, benzac AC, all those derivatives that you can buy um, over the counter. So most of the time, if you're really serious about treating acne, see a dermatologist. They will undertake some tests. Your chances are your testosterone levels will be super high. But look, at the end of the day, um, most dermatologists will work in with you. It's not a great idea to use uh, anti-androgens, so anti-androgens such as spironolactone and sulfatorin acetate. All those anti-androgens can be prescribed to females, but they may negate the gains that you're actually trying to get off your steroids itself. So guys, I don't know whether this video has been made before, but um, as a dermatologist, or when we're working in a dermatology center, we normally see between three to five cases per week. Um, some patients come in and they're very honest, but most of the time, you know, when you see a jacked individual coming in with pimples and, and heaps of pimples, 
zits at the age of you know mid 20s or, or even older most of the time we can easily make that call and the best thing to do is be super honest with your dermatologist tell them what you're on uh, they can figure out and they can obviously help you another thing which you may consider lastly is things like light treatment or phototherapy you can get phototherapy devices um, on the net uh, try to go for blue light um, but you can also get blue green and red light as well and what it does is that it treats not the oil gland itself but it treats the bacteria itself and can reduce the amount of um, pimples you have most patients however will require intervention by a board certified dermatologist Guys, please comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.